This is your boy LP with 2creativewithin.blogspot.com, facebook.com slash 2creative. I um, want to say hi to all you guys out there. I'm um, sorry because I haven't posted any videos recently, but I'm back on my ball game. And um, what I have for you guys here today, it's a uh, nice little creative shoot. Um, a shoot with Eliza Lugo, one of my favorite models. Um, yeah, so basically, I uh, just want to show you guys my setup. I have two four-foot uh, fluorescent lighting banks. Um, I also uh, wanted to splash in another light by using the 18-inch um, the Diva ring light, which is a remarkable light. I'm shooting with a 5D Mark II, 7200-millimeter uh, lens, and um, it's coming along well, man. I have a nice... Nice little look going on, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys in on the shoot, <laughs> and uh, I'll show you guys pictures uh, later when I'm done, okay? Uh, come get a, 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 a shot of the setup that I have here. That's my cameraman. He's doing a uh, crappy job, but I love him. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's my setup, guys. Uh, I'll check you guys later. Thanks for checking in, and uh, stay tuned. Peace out. It's your boy LP. I just did an amazing shoot with Eliza Lugo. I love working with this girl. This is our third shoot together, and uh, we always seem to make magic happen. Um, because I don't have an actual behind the scenes video, what I wanted to do for you guys is to give you um, a photo or a visual of the layout on how I achieve these photos. I'm using two four foot fluorescent lighting banks. Um, they are 120 watts each, and I'm also using an 18-inch Diva ring light, which is measured at 500 watts. Um, the Diva ring light is really, really, really bright. Um, it kind of, uh, I want to say, it kind of overshadows the four-foot fluorescent lighting banks, but that's actually cool. It, it did an amazing job with the catch light on the eyes, but before I get into all that that good stuff. I just wanted to just quickly talk about the layout. So I'm about four, three to four feet away from my subject. I'm using a 5D Mark II with a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. I'm shooting at f2.8, one one thousandth of a second, which is my shutter. I have one fluorescent, bite, uh, fluorescent lighting bank to the right of her, and I have another one to the left of her, as you can see in the picture. Um, the fabric that I'm using or the backdrop that I'm using is a backdrop that I got from Amazon. I'll post a link um, in the video, but it's like a textured background. And um, I just have it clamped to my backdrop stand. And uh, as you can see, it's nothing too complex. It's very simple. This thing is, I cannot tell you how easy it is to achieve really good photos. You just have to somewhat have the know-how on how to achieve it but it's, it's relatively simple and it is somewhat inexpensive too but uh, yeah so this is the setup right as you can see here I have the 5D Mark II you can't really see that the 70 to 200 millimeter lens but it's shooting right through the Diva ring light um, Eliza did her own makeup uh, she styled herself I just told her I had a vision um, for this particular shoot I just told her I wanted her to wear dark colors I wanted her to have smoky eyes uh, somewhat of, of a smoky eye look um, or dark, dark, darker eyes um, and I wanted dark lipstick she used um, like a matte red uh, it's very dark and rich and it just works so well in the photos it almost look, looks black we did a lot of black and white photos I wanted you know something really elegant and uh, tasteful so we didn't do too many color we focused on a lot of black and white and the photos came out absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to talk about the photo right now. Here it is. As you can see, her skin tones are really, really smooth. That's one thing that I really love about Eliza. Her skin is just amazing. Aside from her being amazingly beautiful, her skin is very soft. Um, it has very, very few blemishes. Fresh out the camera, I didn't have to touch anything. Like, it just looks so pure. You know, the editing, it does add a little, little spice to the photo. But fresh out the camera, the photos look amazing. I just, I barely touched this photo up. But um, this is the photo here. 
Um, as you can see, the catch lights are amazing. And, you know, we achieved this by, you know, the setup that I just showed you guys. Uh, the two fluorescent lighting banks on each side of her. Um, they were relatively close. I want to say about a foot, uh, two feet, a foot and a half away from her. Um, I, each, I had a fluorescent bank on each side and I had the diva ring light uh, in the middle, which was hanging on the boom arm. And I shot straight through the diva ring light using the 70 to 200 millimeter lens. But um, it's a very, very beautiful, very, very, you know, flattering light to use. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys in on, you know, the particular photos that I, I achieved. Um, so we have we have some more. We have a few color. We have a few black and white. And we did a whole bunch of different looks with just this setup. I rarely changed anything. As you see the setup, it remained the same way throughout the entire shoot. It, we just did things personally to the model, which is Eliza, and um, I did things on my end to really dress up the photo, take away, to add, but it all worked out well, and um, I'm really excited. Um, I don't want to hold you guys uh, too much longer, so I'm going to give you the good. If you have any questions on the setup, um, you know, what I'm using or whatever, whatever you, you may have an inquiry about, please send it over inbox me, email me, you know, leave a comment below. But uh, I really appreciate the love. I'm moving forward. I thank you guys for being so supportive and so loving. This is your boy LP with 2creativewithin.blogspot.com, facebook.com slash 2creative. You can also check me out on Twitter at 2 underscore creative. And you can also check me out on Instagram at 2creativewithin. Check your boy out. Peace, people.